Hey, howdy people, it is Zero, and we are finally recording again. Seriously, the last time I recorded, I think was when Zygar got banned. So I've just been digging stuff out of the bottom of the barrel that's been sitting there for a while. But how's everybody doing? I hope, uh... I hope we haven't been gone too long and upset anybody. If we did, oh fucking well. But yeah, so in the Pokemon department, it, it's been a little wonky for me. Team Vile, we know it's been well documented, the farewell of that team. Sniff, sniff, wipe, wipe. And I've had some problems with uh, OU for Oraz. I don't know what it is, but so far, Z Saber has not worked for me worth anything. And it's not even that Z Saber's doing bad so much like I haven't hit any of the new threats even but I just can't do honestly I, I feel like we're starting to see well more like I'm starting to see the problem of why it took a slide I just don't know how to operate that team anymore but anyway this is the new team I threw this together just for shits and giggles and so far I've been pretty content with the results I've actually only done the four that I've gonna be showing you guys here today that's the only battles i've done with this team i did do a couple with z saber um and they were they were spotty some were great some were awful but uh <coughs> excuse me so to break this team down for a second we have ignore me the frost lass partial rip from uh from super kawaii it is taunt destiny bond spikes and shadow ball did away with these ah darny reload um did away with ice beam just to keep the uh to get the taunt on there this is what the team was based off of actually a member and someone who's actually been featured on this channel before uh rs messi he saw this set and he recommended it to me because he knows how much of a how much of a sweet guy that I am. You know, just as a change of pace kind of thing. And thus we have Blackhawk Baby Girl. This thing is Combined, Roost, Dragon Pulse, and Stored Power. We'll be seeing the moves coming up here eventually. But um and we have him, we have Ignore Me, well, her, excuse me. We, we need to not be sexist here. Um, so we have Baby Girl, we have Ignore Me, we have David Bowie, we already saw. Yeah, puns. The Sylveon. Bowie is a pretty much direct rip of Shadow from Team Vile. Rest in peace. Uh, we have Copy X pretty much just a standard Bisharp. Um, Space Herpes is back from the Pegasulta team. It still catches people off guard and still isn't particularly fantastic or awful. I don't think that crit mattered. Um, and then we have Esok. Esok is my uh, Landorus Therian named after the Maverick from Mega Man X6 whose head strikingly resembles a Lando, and thank you for only hitting four there, Breloom. That was that was very nice of you. Um, I'm not gonna really say too much on Isak right now. Isak actually ends up saving my butt later, and I'm just gonna save that one and let you guys just see how that plays out. Um Varyu, I think that's how you say it, Varyu, maybe? I don't know. I'm I'm spitballing here. Uh, this is a group member now, so this is actually how I met him, so I wanted to show this. Um, Isak at the time, knockoffs are great, Isak at the time is still Sash. So, hence why I actually managed to pull off tricking this guy into thinking that I was Scarf. Attack drops are great, I, seriously, any knocking that I gave to, uh, any of this kind of oh high jump miss to any Pokemon with that kind of ability, particularly Mega Trick, I I now take that back. And here we have no uh uh normal gem explosion <laughs> that still ain't gonna cut it. But uh, we're hopping in here, and I don't really wanna I don't wanna risk 
my baby girl getting hurt there. I just picked up a southern accent. I don't even know why, but I did there. Um, but yeah, Isak doing Isak's thing there and switching out and catching Quagsires. Yay. Taunt is nice, and I think I'm going to drop a spike or two here. And dang. Ah, that burn. Grr. Well, either way. Um, so that leaves... That leaves Blackhawk here to do her thing again. Toxic, eh, it, it's detrimental eventually, but, you know, that's what we got David Bowie here for. So, this thing is, I, I was having a really good conversation with this guy too, by the way, just, you know, bit of the battle and talking about stuff that once was in the Pokemon world, and those spikes paying off so big right there. Ooh, that could have went really south really quick. So, no poison jab. I, I like that he has poison jab, though. I'll give him that. And knock off here. I kind of... What, what, what was I expecting? I don't even know. But yeah, there's the sash on Isak. You see what uh, what Isak is. Even though I'm not showing the full set yet. You will see the full set momentarily. So far we've seen um, Earthquake and Knock Off on it, but that's about it. And Space Herpes is clear to just wash everything away. <laughs> Get it? Rotom Wash. Wash them away. See what I did there? I'm not funny. Um, so yeah, that's, that's a wrap. And yeah, I talked to this dude for quite a while, and he's in the group now. I'm not going to try to pronounce that again, because I'm pretty sure I fucked it up the first time, and I don't want to botch it any further. So, yeah, welcome. Welcome to uh, Zero Pokemon Plus, buddy. Glad to have you. And on to the next one here. We got two more of these, so let's, let's move on. I don't remember this one. I honestly don't remember this one, but I hope that it's going to go how I think it's going to go. This is why I love Frostlass. Supa, you are a baller for showing me this, and mostly because the people that I've faced so far really don't know how to deal with this thing, but I got my Space Herps. Space Herps with... I still am not a fan of... Shut up, Siri. I'm still not a fan of using bolt switches or U-turns. That's why if you, if you find out later, the fourth move, well, second and... Uh, third and fourth, rather. You, you guys still don't know two moves on Isak. But, um... Yeah, U-turn is not one of them. I do not do bolt turns. It is not my thing. I really just find that a stupid and cheap and really skillless strategy. And me and Rek go back and forth on this all the time. So, yeah, I'm not going to ever use a full... I, I, I may do at some point, I may do two. But once it goes three or higher, having Volt Switch or U-Turn, to me, that's just... Ugh, no, no. Either way, um, Bowie taking Sludge Bombs like it ain't no thing. Seriously, Bowie is so close in resemblance, except for, I think, his... Uh, Special defense is the only difference, or his physical defense rather, from uh, from Shadow, at least in how he plays, if nothing else. So that Dragonite's about to be hurting, and it is hurting. Ouch. So, Copy X has majorly got the advantage right here. Iron Head, I, you know what, that's okay. I can, I can live with that. Synthesis. Protect and Synthesis. Jeez. Protect, Synthesis, Leech Seed, and Sludge Bomb. That's bitchy. It's honestly bitchy. And I kind of felt like right there that I should have been hitting Sword Dance, but of course I'm a little too much of a doofus to do that. Flinches are still nice though, so it's okay. And leave with the Space Herpes. If anybody is wondering, if I never explained it, where that name came from, Space Herpes, um, that is what Potato refers to, or Swamp Tony, as you guys probably know him, refers to for his computer ailments. That his computer came down with a case of space reference. And I don't know, I just 
I was just thinking of it when uh, when I made that Rotom, and thus it became Space Herpes. I really can't give you a much better explanation than that. Sorry if that's a little underwhelming, but oh freaking well. And then this one. I remember this one. <laughs> I had to call uh, I had to call Tato when I started this battle because I was like, Tato, look, I found your master. Because it's ancient potato, and he's potato. Get it? Anyone? No? Come on, guys, humor me here. Oh. Eh. <laughs> Thank you, CL. Anyway, um, so ignore me's back in, and I realized after the fact, particularly from this. Now, I I did hit Destiny Bond here to try to play the system a little bit, but I'm doing everything I can here because I kind of realize now this team has got a massive fish art problem but I am playing this dude like it ain't no thing drop the spikes I figure he's gonna try to actually attack now and kaboom down goes the sharp oh man that was scary the mind games though the friggin mind ga is that a max speed mammo or what, what what's the deal here I typically space herpes Will How is he outspeeding me? I'm pretty sure Space Herpes is faster. I've been wrong before, but I'm pretty sure now that outspeeding me I understand. But um Yeah, yeah, I don't know. So this Gardevoir is in, and I'm already not liking the look of things. And if I was smart, I would have switched right here. I also didn't know it was gonna do that. So I'm already like, well, this is this is gonna go bad. This is gonna go really bad really quick. And dropping some toxics and get ready for some playing of the system right here. Prediction level zero for ancient potato. Sludge wave blocked by Copy X. Going over to Esoc. And then that's gonna be an Earth Power block. And here is what makes Esoc good. You ready for this? Right? Yeah, Therian's not the only one that can do that. Look out, people! Incoming Isak! I really, really thought I was boned here. I GG'd when I got my, uh, when I got Blackhawk Baby Girl, um, taunted. I thought I was done. And then, look at Isak digging me out of a hole like it ain't no thing. Oh my gosh! Now, again, I realize I'm still working my way back up, and I'm probably going to run into some problems with this team, but at least for right now, it's functioning pretty well, and yeah, again, I'm doing the thing of trying out a couple new things. Um, Isak, I didn't actually say, Isak is not completely new. Um, there was a tournament a while back in the group where you build teams for a person and give them to your designated person, that person has to use your teams. Isak was actually created there, and then I just decided to implement him again now, just because I, I don't know, I don't like Lando Therians that much, but you know what? I found something that is not stereotypical spam, so I'm trying it, and so far I'm fond of it. So yeah, that's a wrap. Hope you guys like the team. If you got any thoughts, let me know. I may or may not listen. <laughs> I am a stubborn asshole still. But um, thanks everybody for tuning in to Sid Zero. I am Zero. I'm on Pokemon Showdown with the uh, with the Blackhawk team now. Hopefully this team will be getting some more airtime, and hopefully I'll get Z Saber back on its damn feet at some point here too. But uh, yeah, that's enough out of me. So thanks for checking us out, guys, and I will see you later.